What's up guys, Random Razor here with another tech video for you guys today, as well as the first video of 2012, and today I believe is Chinese New Year, so for those of you who celebrate Chinese New Year's, Happy Year of the Dragon. But anyways, as the video title says, I bring you guys a little quick video of the iPhone 4S. This is a white 32 gigabyte model. And for those of you long time uh, subscribers, you probably remember uh, how I have the iPhone 4. Long story short, um, I'm in university. I took my iPhone 4 to psychology. Well, I take it every I take it out everywhere. And um, I don't know what happened. It, it either fell out of my lap or just fell out of my pocket. But it wasn't on me when I walked out. And when I walked back in, it was gone. It's not on the floor. Nobody. I checked with the prof. Nobody um, returned a phone to the prof. So it was kind of gone. I attempted to call it. Um, I got the message where it says. Caller, or the caller you're trying to call is unavailable so that usually indicates that the phone is off um, I did install find my iPhone on the uh, iPhone but um, fortunately that only works when the phone is on and it's off and I still haven't located yet so um, at this point you know I think it's gone so which is kind of fortunate so for those who have smartphones keep an eye on it when you're leaving somewhere like a lecture or something like that make sure it's on you before you leave and you should be good to go because losing a, losing a smartphone really sucks and uh, in these and you know our current day in the, our society, you know, cell phones are pretty integrated in our lives, and it's like kind of actually, it's actually really inconvenient to lose them. So, had to resort to uh, getting another iPhone. Kind of had no choice. Um, granted, I could have bought a cheaper phone, but all my contacts, everything's backed up on my computer here, and I, I just used to the iOS software and I couldn't really use any other phone uh, at least that's what I think but anyway so that's why I had to get one of these and decided to get white you know change it up a bit and uh, obviously pick up the 4S as well since that's the newest model and uh, here's a little quick look at the box here nothing too spectacular I'm pretty sure most of you guys have probably seen this um, when it first came out got the iCloud um, logo on the bottom of course 32 gigabyte model and of course your serial, serial information on all what it comes with. Uh, if you pop this thing open, pretty much identical things you get, same with the iPhone 4. Of course, this is where the iPhone would normally sit. Uh, you get your standard manuals, the, uh, what do you call it, fingertips, um, Apple stickers, here's the fingertip thing, tells you what all the uh, phone has to offer in terms of features. The French version, because in Canada, and your warranty guide and the French ver version of the warranty guide. But uh, yeah, pretty much your standard stuff, and of course the SIM ejector tool. Put that off to the side here. Of course you get your standard accessories, your charger, USB cable to charge and sync your iPhone, as well as the headphones with the uh, remote for the uh, phone to uh, play pause music and uh, do some calling I believe but anyways that's uh, pretty much it for that so anyways, here's the phone itself you guys can see here I did purchase the uh, Apple bumper the white version for it I think it's one of my favorite cases the other one is of course the white Autobox Defender which thankfully does fit uh, the iPhone 4s and uh, the uh, bumper case is pretty much identical to the previous bumper um, it's just slightly uh, has a slightly larger Cut out here for the ringer vibrant switch to accommodate the 4S as well as the Verizon iPhone since the ringer switch is for some reason pushed down a bit on those models. And we actually have a larger cutout for the 30 pin connector or a port here to accommodate um, larger like third party cables if you use that for your iPhone. And this thing here is just a little dock protector that came with my Switch Easy capsule case I had with my 3GS uh, like two years ago. And I found it and amazingly it fits with the uh, bumper case on so that keeps like debris and stuff out of it so that's really cool. Of course two cutouts for the microphone and speakerphone and it's just a, you know it's a bumper case hybrid plastic rubber design and I think it's a pretty cool case keeps the overall aesthetic look of the iPhone without you know compromising uh, the look if that makes sense but it still offers a decent amount of protection but I also do have a um, screen shield on the back here this is the back uh, screen shield actually is not an actual screen shield it's the packaging from the iPhone itself I never actually took it off I cut off the excess the little plastic that sticks out and pretty much convert it to uh, built on put, already put on a screen shield so that's been uh, working out very nicely you guys can kind of see here and on the front side here um, I had the uh, I have the power support um, anti glare screen shield that these that is the only screen shield that Apple um, sells at their stores so I picked that one up and uh, it's a pretty nice screen shield I've used anti glares before they're actually really nice in terms of keeping oil and fingerprints off it which I really like and also makes you know sliding your fingers across the screen with the touch screen a lot more easier and uh, in terms of anti glares they generally degrade the quality of the uh, screen, the retina display, just a little bit, but the power support has been the best one yet, and I guess that's why Apple sells them there. It does a really good job. It does degrade it just a wee wee bit, but um, it does, uh, you guys can see here, it's still crisp, vivid, and uh, 
so pretty awesome screen to look at. So uh, definitely thankful that I got one of those. But uh, yeah, it's been a it's a pretty awesome screen shield. Uh, fairly easy to put on as long as you keep dust and stuff out of it. Just you know, use a uh, microfiber cloth and wipe off any dust and debris on your iPhone screen. Slap on the uh, screen shield and you should be good to go. Um, I put the screen shield on right when I reviewed that packaging, so it's pretty much clean the way it was. I don't really need to do anything like that. But anyways, in terms of experience. Um, been using the 4S here for a few days now, and uh, it's a pretty awesome phone. It's really not that much different uh, compared to the iPhone 4 in terms of usage. It's a little bit more snappier, but it's just, you know, the iPhone 4 is still a pretty innovative and awesome phone. Um, the other new features, of course, with the 4S is uh, one of the biggest ones that Apple's been trying to put out, of course, is uh, Surrey. And uh, Surrey, it's a pretty cool feature. Honestly, it's more of a toy rather than... Um, like uh, something that's useful. I guess it, it is useful if you're driving and such, but in terms of you know everyday usage, like walking around, texting and stuff, um, you, you don't really too often see you know people walking around talking to your iPhone. So um, in terms of Surrey, it's a fun toy that does have some useful features, but it's nothing really too spectacular. It's not like Star Trek where you can tell the computer to do like anything. So uh, we're not to the, uh, up to that point yet. Anyways, um, some other new features, of course, it's the uh, I believe it has a dual core processor. So again, things are a little bit more snappier, but it's not really you know, huge in terms of difference between the iPhone 4 and 4S. So for those of you who have a 4, really just keep it and wait till 2012's model, uh, whatever Apple's coming out this year with. But anyways, I guess the uh, last biggest feature, of course, is the camera here. Um, Apple did upgrade the uh, camera from a 5 megapixel camera to a 8, me 8 megapixel camera. And um, in terms of looking at the pictures on screen, they don't really look that different. I'm sure they're better quality, but it's not, you know, like a huge, uh, huge, huge difference. Uh, the other thing, of course, is that the high, defini high definition video recording has been bumped from uh, bumped from 720p high definition to 1080p. So in terms of video recording, uh, definitely does a better job there. And I do record a lot of my videos on my iPhone, so you guys should expect hopefully better quality videos, um, if not just slightly. Uh, maybe 1080p. The thing about 1080p though is that um, it takes a long time to um, upload since it's a bigger file. So uh, we'll see about that. But anyways, um, so that's the uh, other new feature. Other than that, I think that's pretty much it in terms of features for the iPhone 4. Other than that, like, it's pretty much the iPhone 4. Well, it's kind of like the iPhone 3G to 3GS. So it's just, you know, my minor, you know, bumps uh, in terms of the uh, the hardware on the inside and uh, just maybe a little bit on the outside. Well, actually, yeah, a little bit on the outside because they did adjust the antenna thing here. But um, in terms of the death grip that uh, people were talking about with the iPhone 4, um, the 4S does not experience that. So that's kind of a nice feature. Uh, the bumper case on here, so it wouldn't matter anyway, but that's just, uh, I guess, Apple finally fixed that. And um, yeah, that's uh, not much else to talk about because it's just essentially the iPhone 4 with a few upgraded specs. So, but anyways, um, is it worth getting an iPhone 4S? For those of you who have the uh, iPhone 4, no, just wait. If you really want to upgrade, wait a few more months. Apple's going to come up with something new this year, obviously. Um, for those of you who have the 3GS, might be worth it. But, you know, if the 3GS is working out for you and it still works, you know, why replace something that still works? Mine got stolen, so I, I kind of had a reason to get another one. But, um, you know, just uh, throwing that out there. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed my first video of 2012. It's, I didn't really do any crazy editing with this. It's more your, like, classic review video, you could say. And um, that's my take on the iPhone 4S. And hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys have any uh, questions or comments, ask away down the comment section there. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.